What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam and today I have your brand new lifeguarding video. Now today we're gonna to be talking about how to prepare and practice for the lifeguard swimming pretest. So I'm talking about the lap swimming, the brick dive and the treading water. Now this will work if you have access to a pool or if you don't have access to a pool, it does not really matter because COVID, it's hard to get a pool to go to and swim laps before and practice. So basically I'm just gonna be talking about how to get your mind right, how to plan and how to just do really well and be successful and get your lifeguard certification. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta think about it. There's 12 laps, you gotta plan your mind for this. So there's 12 laps, it's 300 yards. Basically you have to do both front crawl and brush stroke. So take the one that you're really good at. So for me personally, brush stroke was the way to go because number one, there's no time limit, so you don't have to race. Obviously, if this was a race, you would want to do front crawl. But since you can pace yourself, take your time, and brush stroke doesn't get, you don't get as tired as quickly, brush stroke was the way to go. So in order for you to practice, since you have to use both strokes, what I like to do, I like to do the first two laps front crawl. Pace yourself, do not rush it. There could be a kid next to you flying by you. Do not like feel intimidated and having to speed up. Pace yourself with your front crawl, and for the rest, I pace myself with brush stroke, nice and easy, swim all the way. As long as you don't touch the side walls, you can touch the end walls to turn around. Do not touch the side walls, you'll be good to go. Take your time, and basically, if you wanna practice it, just practice doing two laps of front crawl, and then doing like eight to 10 laps of brush stroke. Now, let's say front crawl is your main stroke, and you're really confident with that, then you can do how you want. You could do half breast stroke, half front crawl, or you can do the first two laps breast stroke and the rest front crawl, whatever works for you. But for me personally, just to ensure that I pass since it's not a race, I did front crawl, got out of the way because it takes out a lot of energy, and then I just did the rest breast stroke. So definitely practice in the pool. Just really get that cardio going. Practice pacing yourself because if you wait till the real thing, you're not gonna have a chance to adjust it. So let's say you don't have access to a pool, just get in your head, all right, pace myself, take my time, do not force anything since you only have one go at it. Just make sure you get the breast stroke to front crawl division down of how many laps you wanna do of each, and then you'll be really successful. Just make sure you pace yourself, that's so important. I probably said it a bunch of times already in this video, but do not fly through it. Do not be intimidated by the people around you. Just laser focus, focus on what you have to do, and that's really how I would prepare for the lap swimming portion. Now for the treading water portion, it's a little bit tricky. Like how do you practice treading water if you're not swimming and you don't have access to a pool? But you gotta remember, it circles with your legs. You can't have your arms in the water, so you have to have your hands up like this. It's only two minutes, two minutes go by really quickly. So if you have access to a pool, I recommend just making circles with your legs, just really pacing yourself, just doing it till failure and do this in shallow water. So let's say you're in deep water and you do it till failure, uh, you're sinking to the bottom, that's not really good luck. But make sure you're at a point in the pool, let's say you're close to the wall, just practice till failure, really get that core going because core is really important when you swimming. Just have, think of happy thoughts, just see what the two minutes feel like and just really practice, just get some reps in. Now let's say you don't have access to the pool, just remember to do kind of sit in a chair, Take advantage, let's say if your body floats, it makes it so much easier. Sit in the chair, don't lean too far back because they'll call you out because you're back floating, that's not allowed. But just remember, sit in the chair, make circles with your legs, and just think of happy thoughts. Try not to get a foot cramp, that's the worst thing you can do. Let's say some people do flutter kicks while they're treading. If you get a foot cramp, you're screwed. Because number one, it's really painful. Number two, you can't touch the wall to adjust it. Obviously, you might have a really chill instructor, it's like, yeah, you can adjust it if you have a foot cramp, but just try to make circles with your legs. If you do flutter kicks, you're at risk of foot cramp. But just remember, just really pace yourself, think of happy thoughts. The two minutes go by really fast. And obviously this is the one of the things where you kind of need a pool to practice. I didn't practice personally. I didn't have access to a pool when I took the lifeguarding test and I wasn't in shape at all. But if you really want to ensure that you're going to pass this pretest, try to train your core. I have a little ab workout on my channel. It's only five minutes. Do that a couple times. Basically it's all about cardio and core strength when it comes to swimming. And you don't even need those things because I wasn't really in shape and I passed the lifeguard test on my first try. But just remember, it's all about pacing yourself, cardio, managing stamina, and you'll be fine. So for the brick dive, this is a little bit easier to practice. What I recommend doing is if you have some rings, if you just have a brick handy or you're at a pool, just throw it to the bottom, practice surface diving head first and feet first, getting to the bottom, blowing air out of your nose so you don't get water up your nose, that's the worst feeling. Your ears might pop, but that's just in the name of the game. You just gotta fight through it. You can do a little push off on the bottom, not too much because you don't wanna be noticed. Just a little push off even though they say you're not supposed to just to get some momentum hold the brick or the ring with two hands and just practice kicking on your back all the way back to the other side of the pool this is really easy to practice because you can actually physically do it and the name of the game is locating the brick before you dive in so if you're using rings to practice just make sure you, you find the ring before you do the surface dive just because it's a lot harder if you surface dive you're opening eyes in your water and you can't see it then you got to hold your breath and look for it and it's a stressful situation so locate the brick
right before going under and you should be fine. If you do not have access to a pool, just remember these steps. Number one, you wanna swim over there with a decent pace. You don't wanna go so fast, but you don't wanna to be too slow because it's kinda of like a rescue simulation. You gotta have some decent speed. So I do like right in the middle. So you're not taking your time, but you're not going super fast. So because like normal pace, like you're swimming to talk to your friend on the other side of the pool. So normal front crawler breaststroke, just get over there, locate the brick, do a head first surface dive just because it's a lot easier than feet first because feet first, if you're not angled correctly, you kind of have to like move your body so you can move a little bit. If you're head first, you can just kick and angle yourself and then take your legs from under you and put them on the bottom, pick it up, light push, but just take it step by step, get your mind right. It's all about getting your mind right, honestly. If you have the swimming ability, if you know you're a good swimmer, really it's all mental. If you have the confidence in yourself and you're, you prepare for it, so I hope this video helps you prepare for it. If you t put the time, watch some film, which is these videos, I guess. Uh, it's like a sporting event. If you watch film on a team, then you'll, you'll be better prepared. It's like studying for a test. So basically just get your mind right and you should be very successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm just trying to pump up this content for you guys. I know it's a tough time because of COVID. You don't have a lot of pools open and maybe you're lifeguarding, but it's a lot of restrictions. I just want to get you guys the best tips possible so you guys can kill the lifeguarding game and be very successful. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.